Okay, so it is 9.30 ish and we have about four hours before we pull out and get on the road. We're at my mom's house currently because she's the one that's driving. Don't mind the back. That's all my wedding planning stuff. Um, Shia is downstairs still completely oblivious. But we're just waiting on my sister to get here and we're all going to take a little short nap and get on the road. So as you can see by the time, we actually did get a late start. We were supposed to leave by 2 a.m., but hey. And there goes my baby doing a little happy dance. My nephew, my stepdad, well soon to be stepdad. And of course my mommy. And here they are dancing, very cheerful for 5 a.m. And if you don't know by now, this is actually my older sister. And at 5.16 a.m., we're finally getting on the road. We actually had to stop and get coffee at Wawa, so this is before that. Now, if you watched my packing video, you may have seen that I said that we were going to let my daughter know at the south of the border where we were actually going because she thought we were going to Myrtle Beach. Isn't she so cute? She has no idea. Well, she might have a hunch because she's extremely smart. And before anybody says anything, yes, we told her to stop trying to open it with her teeth before she hurts herself. And after much deliberation, she finally gets into it. And we don't let her, so she had to pick it up. I just had to let you guys hear her because she was too cute when she found out. <laughs> Look at her. Now we did stop a few times throughout the trip obviously for restroom breaks but we did stop here at this McDonald's in Florida and we had to you know get ice cream let the kids stretch all that good stuff. Now by the time we reached Daytona everybody was completely exhausted we were just over this trip we were ready to get out stretch, eat, lay down, like we were just over this trip. Look at us, my poor baby. Thankfully, it didn't take us too long to reach the World Mark Kingston, Orlando, where we stayed for those few days. It's actually a really nice resort. Um, I really had no complaints other than the doors were covered in some type of film which I feel like they should have been cleaned a little bit better, but we cleaned them when we got there, so it's okay. Now this is the double suite, which my sister and I stayed in with the baby. Um, I was in love with this suite, honestly I was. Um, from the bathroom to the bed, the balcony in the bedroom, it was just beautiful, it was perfect. And I'm definitely trying to make sure that I film the best that I can so that you guys can get the entire feel of the room. So, you know, I'm trying to close doors so you can visualize it in your head. Now, we actually didn't put anything in the closet other than our suitcases. Everything that we had stayed in the drawers. And this is the bedroom balcony. Like... It, it was beautiful. <laughs> Even the wildlife was beautiful. 
Now, since we were on the fifth floor, we really didn't have to worry about hearing the people that were downstairs in the pool. It really wasn't that bad. We could barely hear them. Now, the living room did come with a pull-out couch, which my nephew Aaron and Josiah slept on for the duration of the trip. Um, here, me and my mom are just both videoing at the same time because it was just beautiful. We had a living room balcony. Um, the door did stick a bit and we had a hard time locking it. So that was an issue, a minor issue, but an issue nonetheless. Now this kitchen came with a full-size stove, a refrigerator and a dishwasher, which was absolutely perfect. It came fully stocked with cups, plates, silverware, you name it. I really liked how they had this floor length mirror in the hallway leading into this bathroom. I did use this bathroom a couple of times just cause you know, it's six or seven people in a suite. And this was the king size room that my mom and stepdad stayed in. Now, even though it's small, it was still extremely nice. Um, they had all the space that they needed. You know, it was an intimate setting. Now, the next day I did try to get a little bit more of a feel for you guys. Um, pardon the mess. Um, you know how women do with their <laughs> beauty products. And also, it's not just my stuff, it's the kids' stuff and my sister's stuff. So, it's going to look a little discombobulated in here. But it was plenty of counter space, so we could do that. And here, I just laid out everybody's outfits because I ironed. I don't know if anybody else irons anymore, but I ironed everybody's clothes for the day. Um, and you see, we all have Disney themes. Me and my sister wore Mickey. Aaron and Josiah wore Mickey and Mariah had a little princess on her shirt with the castle in the back. Now, a part in the mess, but I did want to show you guys how we laid out the living room as a third bedroom, quote unquote, for Aaron and Josiah. So this suite actually worked out perfectly for all of us. I loved it. Like... I was extremely sad to go home, but I missed my man. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little video of our room tour and our travel day, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe to our content.